Canada has always been a go-to destination for Hollywood productions looking to save money or find a new look. People tend to think of Vancouver and Toronto, but do they think of Ottawa? No, I think there's a great film culture in Ottawa, but it's more for the consumption of film. Uh, Ottawa audiences are great. They, they go to all of our festivals. The Bytown is well attended. There's lots of people go out to the movies in Ottawa. It's a, it's a good movie going town. Uh, I suppose as a kind of a center of study rather than of production. We have we, Carleton, for example, we don't have, teach production. We teach film history and theory and criticism, but there's no production component to the degree. Uh, offshore productions come in and shoot. Uh, on the road, for example, part of it was shot in Ottawa. So Hollywood productions sometimes will shoot around here because they like the scenery or somebody's done a location scout and they think, oh, that Chateau Laurier is a beautiful hotel. Let's use that in one of the scenes. But there's been no kind of concentrated industry uh, activity in Ottawa per se. In a way it's like classical scenario, you have to go where the action is and the, you know the concentrated ongoing amount of production that takes place in Vancouver, Toronto or Montreal. We're gonna go. We're gonna go and leave this place. Ottawa native Nobody's Brooks Hunter has made several shorts and completed his first feature film in 2011. Kennyville, a horror film, was partially shot in Ottawa and is set in Canada. Hunter says Ottawa was very welcoming to him as an unknown filmmaker. I was always creative as a kid, loved acting. One day I was able to actually use my parents' camcorder at the age of seven. Picked it up and started actually making a short film right off the bat and we made short films as kids through elementary school. And it was, it was finally high school when I said to myself, okay, I, I really want to do this, and just went forward. The first feature I did was Kennyville. That was a film that did require shooting in various locations, um, and we did get a lot of favors that way. You know, we went into um, a couple stores, and they let us just shoot for, for no cost, just because it was exciting and there's things going on. So I think for sure, for first-time filmmakers, you can definitely use a lot of the, uh, of the resources here. But hypothetically, if it makes a ton of money at the box office, people are going to ask about it. You know, how did they put it together? What was the budget? Why was the budget at that level? Well, hey, they shot here. Inevitably, that will come up. And then people notice Ottawa that way. You know, you could have a lot of movies shooting here, but if they're not successful, people won't take notice as much. Producer and director Maria Youngmi Shin says the stories she wants to tell with her films come from the city itself. The city of Ottawa itself is, it's a national capital. It's, you know, it's got amazing things, but the industry itself is quite small. I know that public officials, they're promoting Ottawa more and more. I have seen people move away um, over the years I've been producing. Um, a lot of it, I think, is because it feels so isolated. For about a decade or so, I remember our dollar was very, very devalued against the American dollar. It was down like to 65 cents to the U.S. dollar. So they made, they, they could save 35 percent on their cost by moving their productions to Canada because they'd be paying for things in Canadian dollars. So that really brought a lot of industry to Vancouver in particular uh, in the 90s. Ottawa's been more seen as being overregulated because it's the national capital. It just doesn't have the urban concentration that you get in Toronto or Montreal. He is a maniac. He is a monster. Oh, hey, you look like you're not from around here. My name's Crystal. He is a killer. Nice to meet you. He is Night Knife. I've basically been very interested in do-it-yourself horror, as I think most aspiring filmmakers tend to be. It's one of those genres where basically everything's kind of there for you. You need dark settings, you need, you know, a killer on the loose, you need to make some fake blood every here and then, but other than that, it's pretty much something you can just kind of make with your friends. It doesn't really need much in terms of big special effects, and in fact, most of the best ones don't have many. We've already seen uh, a couple of big productions happen here. I mean, I think it was uh, that horror film, uh, House at the End of the Street, was filmed here a little while ago, and that had you know, a decent-sized cast and crew, um, fairly well-known people working on it. I think it, I think it cost a couple of million. And the rule that was in place was if you have like a certain percentage of your staff, um, basically who are Canadian citizens and who are working on the film, 
um, you're entitled to a certain amount of money. And I remember people even talking about how they kind of wanted to bring some revisions to that and maybe make it so that, you know, you got an increasing or decreasing scale of pay based on how many um, or how few Canadian staff you did have. Jean-Vivre Menard-Hales is the commissioner of the Ottawa Film Office. She coordinates productions that want to come to Ottawa and helps them get the proper permits to work in the city. The last several years we see an average of approximately $25 million uh, directly spent here in the National Capital Region, um, which in turn generates about $50 million in economic impact. Uh, some of those years have been better than others, um, but certainly what I can tell you is that 2013, with the production that we have lined up, um, both from LA, uh, Europe and Australia, uh, that we will exceed those numbers uh, quite dramatically. Overall, what we need to do is, is boost up uh, the creativity in the city. People need to just keep making things. And there needs to be an, an increase in producers who can who go out, get other productions and have them shoot here, as well as having creativity grow from the ground up. Is Ottawa coming soon to a theater near you? Thanks to financial investment, cutting red tape, and filmmakers inspired by the city's unique locations and untold stories, it just might be. For the 25th Hour, I'm Elizabeth Key.